presented by Cave. Time got fever room. Presented by Cave. Time got fever room. Presented by Cave. Time got fever room. Ready? Go! Presented by Cave. Time got fever room. Presented by Cave. Time got fever room.
Presented by Kane. Tanga Vibaro. Ready, go! Okay, 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 how we doing guys? Woohoo! Dangan Feveron! <coughs> dangan, dangan, dangan. <sighs> right, holy crap. This has been a long time coming, fucking hell. They actually announced Feveron well before Garaga, so... Yeah, Sean, this is where the shmups are. We are playing Dangan Feveron. <coughs> And uh, I am looking forward to this actually, fucking hell. The game looks really good. Um, I might switch to the Garaga layout actually. Mm. <laughs> Fever 24 7. What's up, guys? Zach, Sean, Nine Harrier, Howl. All the people lurking in chat, how you doing guys? Okay now, yeah, I set up the buttons before and I'm actually itching to go at the moment, so let's get going. I want to play Fever mode though. Um, arcade mode, not too asked about because I've played it a lot already. But Fever mode is where it's going to be today. What was the bug? <laughs> What's the button for? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna bug everyone to death first. Hang on, <laughs> I wanna do this. Oops, I have to do this. Sorry. Is it this button? Oh man. Wait. Hang on, wait, 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 Oh, seriously? Oh, that's pretty cool. Here we go, right. Wait a minute. There is a small problem I find, though, in that the gadgets actually get set off if you're watching a replay and they don't stay on, which is kind of annoying. Right. Yeah, Garaga's out of print already, believe it or not. What's <laughs> up, King Fossil? In fire. Well, this is arcade mode first. I just want to have a little bit of fun and warm up because it's been a fucking while since I've played this. <laughs> Oh, where you going? Right. <laughs> oh my god, uncontrollable. <laughs> Oh, 
Whoop. Yep, that's enough of that, right? Hang on. <coughs> right, so I wanted to change this to fever mode. Right, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, no, there's an option to shut up your Poco. I haven't found it yet, though. <laughs> He's in there somewhere. Anyway, it's the weekend. And I'm thinking of playing for a while. Um, I Heria, I use a Hori VLX. Let's see if the bot command is in there. Yeah, there it is. Yep. <coughs> That's my joystick. Oh, there's a bit of slowdown there. Um, um, B4 roll, not B3 roll. Yeah, if you type in exclamation mark commands, you should be able to get all of the commands that I have on the box. How the heck do you get rid of that thing down there? Okay, right. Now, there's a, for some reason I saw that the um, safety line disappears, but I have no idea how you trigger it. it. Feels like you move a hell of a lot slower outside the safety line actually. So backwards, tank and hype. <laughs> yeah, the UI for this is really, really nice. for playing as uh, type C in the arcade version but uh B has the better bomb Okay. 
<laughs> Dancing game! So Baker, Wolverine. Whee! Okay. Whoop. I hit this pattern. Oh, okay. <gasps> Remixes are pretty good though. <laughs> I can love them. Whoa, 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 water bomb, okay. <laughs> Now with the uh, bomb type, you can actually drop a bomb on the sides here and fucking annihilate all of these tanks. But uh, you can't do that with roll. But roll has much better attack power for bosses, and nobody uses lock because lock sucks balls, unfortunately. <laughs> <sighs> oh, thanks for the host, Aquas. No! <laughs> uh, right, okay. This 
Fever doesn't seem that hard, but I pretty much expect that to be a hidden trigger for something. Just like in uh, Premium Range for Garaga. But um, so far I haven't accidentally triggered anything yet, so I'm wondering hmm, what it could be. Because yeah, from what I've seen, the hidden trigger actually disables the um, disables the safety line and multiplies the uh, value of the uh, disco cyborgs by quite a lot. Plus, it also allows you to um, bullet cancel when you bomb. Let me just finish off this run first and then I will probably throw the replay on and we'll do a little bit of study because I am very curious as to how it works. This fever mode at the moment is okay but just feels like a slightly easier version of the arcade game. But I pretty much expect the uh, secret trigger to be quite obtuse but also make the game a hell of a lot more fun. <laughs> Oh, fucking all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I had the bomb there. The uh, water bombs are much shorter. Shit, I want a bomb there. <laughs> yeah, let those memes come out, guys. It is Feveron after all. <laughs> it's probably a bad idea to damage one side completely because it does this. Ooh. What's up, Cream? <laughs> Jamers. Yeah, it is considerably easier, but I think we need to do a little bit of homework to work out how that secret trigger works. Because I want to know. Woo! Shit. Fuck. 
Whoa! The UI does flash considerably. Well, oh, that was a bad idea. Shit! <laughs> with this at all. <laughs> oh, thanks for the host, Zarok. Yes, and also you do get the TLB by default in Fever. But you get the TLB without the invincibility, which really, really sucks. <laughs> What to YouTube? That was shit. I <laughs> could <laughs> first try as well. <laughs> yeah, it has that little health, even if you trigger Ura.
It's literally the only time I'll ever say I've got 10 million in Feveron. <laughs> right, okay, we're going to do a lab session here. <clears throat> so I downloaded this replay. <clears throat> now I want to know, one, how does the um, fever line disappear and the secret mode trigger? So let's watch this here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, So far, so good. He just spends all of his time at the bottom here, though. Then it disappears here. You see the fever line just disappear. Now this is when the secret mode is triggered because there's no no auto vacuum and everything is double the value. So at this point, some some point here, that's when it triggers. I'm not sure what. Does it though? Actually, let me check this again. I think I might know what it is actually because he didn't use. No, he didn't leave the f he didn't leave the safety zone at all at that point. But I think. He doesn't use the secondary weapon either, because he goes through this entire section without using the secondary weapon. Watch carefully, yeah. No, he's got bomb type, but he doesn't use a single bomb at this point. <laughs> so no bomb, no secondary weapon, never leave the fever line. Yeah, this is replay Wolverine. We're doing a little bit of lab here because at this point, you see the f the safety line disappears now. Now, if you watch carefully, you can see the value of the disco men is plus two rather than plus one, and that's all over the screen. But that also triggers a very special mode as well, in that when you bomb, it cancels bullets into Disco Men. You'll see that in stage 2. So here it's generally okay. It, yeah, it's fine here. Still no safety line here. I think it's at the midpoint when he bombs for the first time. That's when you see what um, the secret trigger actually does. Oh, work out where it's coming from. What's bullet speed? So far, it's just normal, except for the the disco men being double their own value. <laughs> I 
Right, it's coming up here actually. You'll see it in a minute. So there's a big wave here. He stops firing and then bombs. That's what the secret trigger does. It allows you to bomb, uh, bomb to bullet cancel and it basically kills all the bullets and converts them into disco men, but it, their value is much higher than usual as well. Yeah, it does seem like to have a very slight attraction as well. But it's not as big as if the safety line was active. I mean, look at this here, he's got nearly... Well, actually, he's got almost double, triple the amount of um, Disco Men in value here. So he's currently sitting on 1550, whereas the counter at the top is like 619. So almost double, or practically double, yeah. He's not using bomb as much by a look of it as well, though. Or the sub weapon, rather. I wonder if that is the trigger, actually. No, I tried that before, Jamers. You don't vacuum if you hold A and C, it only slows you down. But it allows you to shoot and charge at the same time if you're using um, B type. <laughs> Looks like he only uses bomb for. Um, bomb for the uh, boss and not for the stage. I don't think so, Jamers, because I never saw any vacuuming in this replay while in Ura. Because otherwise you'd be using it constantly. I'm not sure to be honest though, because I have seen some weird things in this at the moment. Anyway. Right. Um, Zach, I think when I saw the, um, the systems trailer, it was in custom mode that um, there was a shitload of bullets, so they put the rank up or something. It didn't look like it was in, um, in fever mode. I think this large enemy vacuum happens irrespective of where you are, so... Fucking <laughs> double the value of Desco, dude. Yeah, I think so, the Dambo. That's what it looks like. It's a pretty odd um, widget to have though. One second.
Subsalinus, yeah. Four digit cyborg counter. This is a uh, this is pretty interesting actually. Yeah, we're just watching a replay here as well. Because I wanna know how this secret trigger activates and I think I have a pretty good idea of how it activates now. And I'm gonna try that on the next run. So thanks for the host people. Thank you for the followers as well. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's not as convoluted as Garaga Premium Arrange was, but uh, it is pretty tricky to do by the look of it. Um, if my theory is correct, you have to basically stay under the safety line for the entire first half of the first stage without using a sub-weapon to kill everything. Yeah, you do bomb spam the TLB, Jamers. It's it's pretty ridiculous. I'll let the replay play through because it's uh, it's a pretty fun thing to watch. But um, the chain in stage five is utterly ridiculous. leave Discord open by accident. <laughs> uh, Discord. Yeah, I think there is a pretty sizable um, end of game bonus as well for fever uh, fever mode. <laughs> yeah, because the cat is like ridiculously OP, that's probably why it's worth so much. Plus no bombs means you have to basically no miss the game in order to score the most points in it. Kind of wondering though. Actually, no, that would be a stupid idea. If, um, if the actual trigger is not to use your sub-weapon at all for the first half of the first stage, then wouldn't the cat be the best ship to use for that? Uh, yeah, Marion, you take it. This is currently Japanese PSN. There's a bomb there. There's going to be a lot of bombing in a second. I'm kind of thinking that no miss is the way to keep this uh, special mode as well. Not no miss, but rather something like no miss and not that many bombs used or something. I'm not sure, Enigma. Um, possibly there may be some um, some advantages. Yeah, Wolverine, it is pretty easy to get PSN games, as long as you know where to get um, PSN um, credit um, uh, PSN credit from, you can buy anything basically, which is what I do. I order like um, PSN cards from an online store that's pretty cheap, well not cheap, but more affordable than usual, and uh, I just attach it to my account whenever I need it, so that's how I've got this one anyway, in Garaga, and um, Project Diva Future Tone. <laughs> Did they? Well, there's some way to actually get kicked out of Aurora because um, you can actually get the uh, safety line back. I'm not sure what the actual cause is so far. Obviously, I've only played it once. Um, but watching the replay, um, Mikoto A actually um, ends up back in safety zone um, during the uh, TLB. Uh, Marion Attack in some games tend to be pretty cheap on PSN if you um, wait for sales and stuff. 
it's the same thing with all digital um, digital distribution game um, services though is that uh, once the sales come up it's pretty affordable like you know Steam or BSN Uh, last stage. This is where the chain gets pretty crazy. I mean, look at this. One bomb and he's... Ten times the value already. <laughs> Two bombs, ten times the value already. Yes, Iron Harrier. I bought this on Japanese PSM, but I'm currently playing it on my European account. I mean, all my scores for Garaga were done on the European account, so... The only time I ever use Japanese PSN is when I'm playing something like Future Tone. It seems like the right way to score on this is to leave a shitload of Disco Men on screen and then BOMB in order to get them at ma crazy value. It's like he's what, 3,400 now? And the counter for the actual Disco Man is only 863. Yeah, no chain loss on death, thankfully. I don't think you lost chain anyway on in Feveron um, Arcade. Yeah, I've got dummy accounts for a lot of Japanese game services. It's just convenient. It's nice to have the option of other games that you don't normally see on European um, distribution services. Um, once you install the game on your system map then it's accessible to uh, all the accounts on that system oh you lose the chain on arcade yeah I can't remember <laughs> I don't really haven't really played um, arcade that much even though I had the PCB for it <laughs> <laughs> yeah European PSN sucks balls unfortunately it's a it's a shame really because all the really good games are out on either American or Japanese PSN was a suicide. Now the one thing that I find interesting about M2's port so far is that obviously they use the same UI style which means that they've probably got a framework in place for more ports. I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing what they announce next if they announce anything for the uh, third um, uh, Shock Triggers uh, game. Yeah, I mean, it is worth it to get um, a foreign PSN account. The only thing that you need to be mindful of is where to get the credit from, but there are sites that will, um, you know, give you instant uh, download um, codes for the uh, the um, store credit. And um, the shop that I use um, basically gives me the codes within like five minutes of me buying it, which is really, really good. So and I use that shop for um, Japanese PSN and Japanese iTunes. Yeah, well, that's hoping, Iron Harrier. You would hope that they would um, continue on, and uh, I would like to see that happen. I'm not going to be too excited, though, because uh, obviously things change, but um, hopefully they'll keep going for a few more games, because it would be nice to see some stuff that hasn't been ported before on on um, a modern console. The uh, Great Maho Daisokuza would be pretty cool, especially with the uh, shopping list somewhere on screen. I think Cave at least should take note because this is how their game should be ported with lots of love and care and not the uh, random ass hack job that they've been doing lately. <laughs> Japanese to buy gacha shit, yep. Hey QTV, how's it going? What's up SDS? <laughs> It's 
for Bakaru. <coughs> Not quite a few people in tonight for Feveron, eh? Let's see the uh, stream quality is holding up. Because uh, this game is pretty busy. thousand chain <laughs> yeah I know this game looks visually busy though I'm just concerned about encoding half the time, especially with bullet hell stuff that moves this quickly. Bullet cancel! Yeah, this is the TLB Mariana. Um, this is different to the arcade TLB in that the arcade TLB um, has a bug on it, which means that the invincibility that you have during the um, transition never disappears unless you bomb. So you can actually invincibility your way through the TLB. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Suicide. Then there you go. The um, fever line is back. And when the fever line's back, you don't actually get the bullet cancel effect at the disco man. Nope. Thanks for the host, uh, Cream. Thank you very much. All right, okay. <laughs> mm, hi. Okay. Oh, thanks for the host, Mariano Tekken. Yeah, probably dying twice, I would think. Right, let's try it. See if the uh, theory is correct. Now you stay under the fever line. And don't use um, your sub weapon at all. You have to do this until the um, set of large bombers appears at the midpoint, which is a bit tricky to do actually. Plus, I need shot power, which is a uh, there it goes, it's gone. Okay. Yeah, so 200 before this point without using a sub weapon. Yeah, there's no vacuuming on this. Um, I've just tried A and C together, Jamers, and there's no bullet vac uh, uh, item vacuuming, so there must be something else that causes it. So I think maybe Order Bomb cancels it? I don't know. Yeah, it seems pretty easy to get compared to Garaga. I think Garaga was a little bit more obtuse because of the way the game plays.
Just wanted to try it and it works. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I like this mode already. <laughs> bomb, suicide, bomb, suicide, bomb, suicide. Yep, this is my kind of mode. I'm not used to using Type B though, I prefer Type C most of the time. Oh, okay. Fuck, this is a problem. Oh, there we go, right. How did that happen? Oh, so there is bullet vacuum, but I'm not sure how it happens because it looked like I was doing a semi-charge there, so... Is <laughs> this back raid? Yep. Uh, three million already. Shit. Okay. <sighs> Had a bomb there. I don't think there's any penalty for bombing though, which is good. Was that an auto bomb? That's fine. This <laughs> is Bloodborne DLC. <laughs> Tane! What's up? You out of Hyrule Woods yet? Also, are you getting Senko no Ronde, dude? Because um, I would be up to play that when it gets uh, released. Shit. No bombs left. Pretty intense without the safety line, <laughs> shit. I think the auto vacuum happens if there's a certain amount of disco men on screen. Oh, I get it now. I get it now, okay. Shit, I didn't want to use that bomb though. We learning, boys. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck! I'm gonna die at this point. This is gonna be bad. No, I'm okay, right? <sighs> Get rid of that tank. Okay. Oh, 
that was right. Woo! Freedom! Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a lot of shit going on. Where are you going? Boss just peaced out. <laughs> it's back. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck happened to the boss there? That was so stupid. Right, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ, I hit that thing. Right, okay. Any good places to try the bomb thing, but there we go. All right. <coughs> that works better though if you do it on Zacco. it here though. Fuck. I want that bomb, gimme, right. Just to do that. Cause you know it's worth it and all. Right, okay. Maybe take time with this bit. Shit! Oh boy! Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah, that's no problem. Not a problem. Uh, it does look like dying cuts your chain a little bit. Twelve million. Wait, 
Have I got the fever line back? Why are these vacuuming now? Shit. No, 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 that's safe. Right. <sighs> yeah, no problem, um, Elder Ross. Glad you got something out of it. That's why we did it after all. No bombs left, shit. Fuck, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Such a good mechanic that. I'm gonna save this set of bombs for the. I was gonna say I save it for the big enemies that are coming up later, but uh. Shit! Fucking I'm dying a lot now. Yeah, there's the fever line back, so dying twice in a stage you'll lose it. Okay, 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 that's good to know. Maybe it's possible to get it back, I don't know. Nah, not in this stage it isn't. <laughs> yeah, there's no, no point in even attempting to get it back now, just go for the clear. And I've got a pretty good chain going here though, so... Oh! Bomb, bomb, okay, cool. Bomb spam there. Shit. The bomb. Whoa, where did that one come from? Shit. Well, I get an extend from the boss, and I've got a three bombs here. Jesus! It tells me I just <laughs> shouldn't have done that. Okay. Uh, bum 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 bum. Fever. Fevron is good, dude. Seriously, Fevron is really good. 
It's great. I'm actually really glad that they ported this to PS4 because it's so deserving of a good port. And I used to have the PCB. Shit. <laughs> There's the line again. All clear. <sighs> yeah, I had to sell it QTV. Um, needed to make ends meet. 24.5 million. The thing is though, Illidros, um, Feveron was announced first, then Garaga got announced afterwards, but Garaga came out first, and Feveron came out afterwards. And this has been in the, in the oven for quite some time actually. Wow, follows, thank you very much guys, and also for the hosts. M2 are amazing. Really, really good. This port is really good, actually. I mean, um, I was expecting it to be good because of uh, the work that they did for Garaga. Um, but this is pretty much what I expected. Um, Dent, the trigger, is gained by staying under the safety line. Um, for the first stage without using a bomb or your sub weapon okay and once you get to the um, the bombers at the midpoint once the safety line disappears that's when it activates so you need to be under there and collect 200 disco men and don't use your sub weapon <sighs> see you next shooting <laughs> this is good I'm gonna give this another go <laughs> in a second once I go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, Wolverine, collect 200 as well. Yeah, I'll do the count in a sec. <laughs> now the thing is, uh, how many of you guys are actually on your PS4s now trying to do the trigger, now that we know what it is? So, unlike Garagas, this is considerably easier to activate. game doesn't half take it out of you though because it's so fast paced it's very very draining on the energy fever on right what soundtrack did I have on actually now the VOP put the arcade soundtrack on actually for a bit yeah, it even tells you the basics as well. <laughs> no, that's cool. I mean, there's always a time to get one in the future, of course. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Dent. Yeah, I would say so. 
Eladros. Um, super easy is a pretty good um, mode for beginners to try out, and then they can make the step up, you know, through premium range, through um, Dangan Fever on Fever mode, um, up until arcade. So, it, yeah, it's pretty good. I would say it's a good way to, you know, get learning. Some people tend to just jump straight in, though, so. <laughs> and his brain dead. <laughs> That's not a nice thing to say about it. Jeez. Yeah, it's six and two threes that I find with super easy. Um, obviously, it's not for me, but for people learning to play, you know, shmups or you know, getting in from the ground up, it's it's a pretty good set of modes to have, like novice. And I'm not gonna look down on novice because obviously it's not for me, but for people learning to play, it's a good starting point, I think. The novice generally has quite a lot of um, challenges in and of itself. Uh, for example, with Crimson Clovers, novice modes are really, really good for uh, for learners. I find. Um, the only thing I don't like about Caves novice modes is that they really do dumb down the difficulty a little too much, I think. It should at least provide some challenge without being, you know, um, soul-crushing difficulty. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, Cream, I can see that viewpoint. I mean, uh, again, it's it's not for me, but I can understand if people like to try them and use them, so it's fair enough. Yeah, Zarok, Arcade Boost and Crimson Clover World Ignition is really, really nasty. It's good fun, though. I like that mode a lot. Anyway, I'm just taking a quick break, and then we'll jump into another Fever mode attempt. So this is good. I mean, um, I'm actually really happy this came out. I've wanted to, you know, get on this again for a long time. It's just uh, never really found the energy or the need to. But now that uh, I've got access to it on a console and I can play a different mode if I want to, this is this is good. I mean, I kind of wish that Crimson Clover World Ignition came out on PSN um, because my PC isn't strong enough to stream it, um, and it would be nice to have it on a console at least. Yeah, Jack, I can see that viewpoint as well. I mean, again, it's just personal preference. I don't find either of the companies, um, the, well, the developers' uh, novice modes to be particularly difficult, but uh, I think, to me, Crimson Clovers is slightly more difficult than Caves. <coughs> well, again, it just depends on which Cave game we're talking about in terms of novice. <laughs> Yeah, that's banana though, isn't it? <laughs> of course you would do that. Ah, I love Crimson Clover. I just wish I could play it on a system that could stream it at 60 FPS without problems. Yeah, a few people have used funny controllers. They've used steering wheels, uh, guitars as well. I think um, Erhun uh, cleared a cave game using a um, guitar. Hero guitar, I think it is? I think it was Erhun anyway. Dangan Feveron, let's go! This won't be entertaining. <laughs> so we'll assume the 200 is the mark. Which should be fairly easy to beat right about now. Or it's a certain point, yeah, it's not 200, it's a certain point by the look of it. Oh, 200 Disco Men actually, yeah, that's right. 
No, no, it's 195 I got it there, so, okay. Oh, <laughs> Mew, Mew, Mew. I just love being so strong that enemies are dead before they get a chance to fire. <laughs> Whoa, 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 stick refresh. Oh, when that happens. Meow, 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 whoa, 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 shit. <laughs> and I got a fever line back. Balls. <laughs> yeah, I think I lost it there. No, I got it back. Saw the safety line appear for a split second, I'm not sure what caused it though. Fortunately this, um, the cat's not going to score as much as the standard chips because there's no bomb to cancel with. So I think this is a handicap in terms of scoring here. The cat was the best for scoring in arcade but it seems like the standard chips are the best for scoring in Fever. Squid shot. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, I got a fever line back there. Kind of hard to play as the cat, though. <laughs> yeah, I sincerely doubt that Toho would be the next shot triggers. You never know, they might bring shot triggers to PC, but I wouldn't hold your breath on that. Yeah, it's not really worth playing as the cat if you can't get your stuff back, so we're going to... Gee, I've got a quick restart here, haven't I? 
Yeah. Ready, nope. Uh, I can't wait. <laughs> Ibarra. I would love Ibarra to be the next game on the series. Um. I'm starting to doubt whether it is 200 by this point though. See? 146. So you just have to... Basically no miss, no bomb, no sub-weapon this entire beginning stretch for it to work. Batrider possibly. Oh hey uh, uh, Hoon, how you doing dude? Good to see you. Hmm, Batrider, I mean it's possible. I would like to see either Batrider or Great Maho. a lot slower when you do that though. Oh, that's because I'm using um, A and C together and not uh, A on its own. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Gonna love doing that. I think it's probably the best place to do it is when there's a lot of Zacco. Getting the feel for this now though, this mode. Seem like it was worth it. <laughs> oh, thanks for the host, Akaru. <laughs> 
good <laughs> SDG, SDOJ port never. I don't know, it ne might happen still. You never know. Never rule it out. Well, like I said before, Cave should really learn that you know, you need love and care in your ports for people to actually appreciate them and they don't really give them love and care. That was dangerous. Plus the bullets. Okay, right. I don't think they fixed the DFKBL. <coughs> yeah, I'm really feeling this mode. This is good. I like this. This has got my kind of gameplay in it. Actually, I'm not going to suicide just yet though, because it's probably safe to do it on bosses. I'm going to try and keep this bomb though, just in case, because I'd like to have a small problem with this stage in that I'm uh, pretty bad at it. And I'm not really sure of the safest route through it yet. Uh, to do it the arcade way. There's the extend. One thing I've noticed is that it seems a little bit slower than the emulation does. Obviously because it's running at proper PCB frame rate, but uh, I'm sure MAME emulates this way too fast. And I've just bought a bomb there, which is what I wanted to do. Tank. <laughs> Woo! 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 <laughs> Do not die yet. Okay. I don't mind dying on the boss because it doesn't look like you lose fever mode if you if you die the uh, the boss. But dying twice in stage is probably where the problem is. <sighs> the boss didn't peace out this time. <laughs> Yeah, they just make Maho Automena. I think they made something else actually recently. I can't remember what it was. But they definitely released something new lately. That was lucky.
more than double my count here. Hang on to this bomb actually, because this stage is actually really nasty. Sure, how to deal with this section yet? <laughs> Middle? Okay. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fuck, no bombs left. Okay. Sure, that's the wrong way to do that. <laughs> oh, shit. Waiting for the right opportunity to do this. That wasn't the right opportunity. This bit sucks. I don't know where the gaps are. <laughs> Fuck.
Nope. Oh shit, didn't want a bomb there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I was hoping for a bomb there, shit. Whoa, okay. Woo! <laughs> oh my god, that part started a little quicker than I expected. Oh, that's new. I haven't seen that purple spray before. Good. No fever line yet. You know, I think I just did. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Oh, this boat is too fucking good. <laughs> oh my god. This boat is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on your resume. <laughs> yeah, I would probably estimate the actual highest possibility score. The highest possible score on this to be... 35? 36, probably? So I got 31.2 there. Um, net ranking in Fever. Yeah. I now have the first place score. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, I wouldn't say double um, Iron Harrier, considering the amount of resources you have. I would probably think it's closer to 36 million, the highest score possible. Yeah, 36. I don't know, Jamers, maybe more, probably 40, but I don't know. You need to have a very good route through this. <coughs> <sighs> oh yeah, that's good. I like that. She, did I actually have my replay saved automatically? Yes, I did. Uh, if you press square, lock. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's sexual. <coughs> Three point five million Wolverine. I just got thirty one point two. Come on, dude. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not doing arcade. Arcade is a considerably more difficult beast. I like arranged modes, though. They're kind of fun. I mean, even the demonstration gives you an idea of how the game is supposed to be played. <laughs> a can of beer. <laughs> Come on, high score table, thank you. Click, right. I need to take a little break and then I'll try it again. No, it actually had part of the... Um, it had the uh, system for fever um, in it, so... If you watch carefully, it does the bomb vacuum. <coughs> Yeah, this is definitely fever, uh, fever mode um, system. I need to take a break. <laughs> First couple of minutes. <laughs> ah, dear, oh dear. How you doing tonight, guys? Anyway, yeah, everyone's having a good Friday. It's a long weekend for me, so I am planning on playing for a while tonight. <coughs> Uh, you want the chip tune version, yeah? Okay, we can do that. Oop, hang on. Uh, okay. Cool. 
Time to get a PS4, dude. Um, Alexa, the port's really good. <laughs> the port is really, really good. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> right then, so we know how to trigger the special of uh, the special mode in this. <clears throat> and I'm thinking with a little bit of adjustment, I could maybe make 32 to 33 million. So, the key point is you need to trigger the special mode as quickly as possible and then generate a lot of disco men and bomb straight afterwards in order to get them at really high value. Looks like you can get around about 800 to 1000 per bomb if you do it properly and in the right place, but it looks like you either need to get a lot of bullet firing enemies or Zacco in the blast, which is gonna take some routing or routing as you Americans call it <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit of pre-planning I think in order for this uh, to actually come come together but I fully expect my squad to be completely destroyed no Alexa believe me fever mode is really good it's really really good you'll see why in a second I'm just gonna play a mode with the standard chip just to show you okay mm. right okay right kind of need that white shot there okay. So around about now-ish, yep, there goes the safety line, and now we're in Ura route. Now everything is worth double the points. We're not going to use it just yet because I want to conserve bombs and do it in stage 2 where everything has considerably more value. Stage 1 isn't really worth that much to begin with, it's just there for... Um, there to make up the numbers I would say. Not a good good idea to do it there. I think there's a much more lucrative point later, but maybe doing it early? I don't know. I mean you get plenty of bombs anyway, but I'm not sure what forces the bomb carriers to drop a lot of bombs. Because um, in that run where I lost fever mode in stage five, I was getting like three or four bombs per wave.
Oh, shit. Didn't want to do that. Yeah, they did, Elixir. You can actually turn off your uh, your Otaro's voice in the options. Why would you want to do that, though? Yeah, that was close. Woo. Sweet. <laughs> you buy armor upgrades with the disco man. My god. That would uh, be kind of entertaining and pretty shit at the same time. <laughs> Doing the farming there just like um, Super Player does, and that you destroy the front two turrets and then weaken it a little bit, then destroy the stuff that spawns at the side as quickly as possible. Yeah, like that. Get quite a few of them like that. I think there's another. Yeah. Stage is kind of awful though, in a lot of ways. Uh, there's a pretty good little trick here you can do. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't want to use a bomb there. Positioning wrong. <laughs> okay, good. And the nice thing is, this actually teaches you the stage as well. So, get a little bit more um, comfortable with arcade mode by playing this. You see, you can't rely on auto bombs, though, so. Fuck, don't want to die that. Not really many good places to spawn, generate a bunch of uh, items now though, so that uh, kind of works quite well, I guess. It's a boss now anyway, so stage doesn't really work that much. Uh, 2, 4 and 5 are probably the highest value stages.
I uh, might play it with a stick, um, super grow quick. <laughs> if you type in exclamation mark joystick, um, you can find some details of what I use. You know that kind of worked in my favor. Fever! Got it. Uh, going down the middle for that pair of turrets there was a good idea actually, so I might try and utilize that a little bit more. Whoa, okay. This is dangerous now, I've only got one bomb, plus I've already died in the stage, so I might lose this run here if I'm not careful. I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's a Hori Real Arcade Pro VLX, um, the 360 version. Oh, fever line, please. Okay, good, right. Be careful here, though. Bomb farm the bosses if you do this properly as well. Yeah, no problem, Mario. On a second, I'll catch you in a bit. No bombs left. Uh, be honest about this run. Shit, 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 
Did not want to bomb there. Fuck. Oh. City line back. No. Okay, good. Right. Power up carry, isn't it? No. Balls. I think my value isn't high enough though. Oh man! Hell, I keep getting clipped by a bullet. Maybe bombs in the... I think I get one there. I got clipped again. This is a pretty shit score. Yeah, this isn't complicated at all, Silent. <laughs> yeah, there's the fever line back, yep. Just kill it now then. I'm not gonna get any score off this now. Score that actually. <laughs> yeah, this is good, I like this. It's a very good port.
Now every shmup will seem complicated at first if you're starting out, but once you've played a lot then it's just experience that kicks in after a while. Yay, 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 whatever. Right. <laughs> Bit of a shit run, but eh. <laughs> There's disco dudes dancing around at the bottom there. Now this game is good though. I think this is easy enough for beginners to get into. <sighs> God. <laughs> uh, that's nice. <laughs> Max rank custom, huh? Um, yeah, we could do that. <laughs> we could do that. Um, need to work out how to set it, though. Yeah, exactly. Shmups are very accessible. Um, Base setting should be fever. Um, VIP range. Right then, what is the rank setting? Um, just. Let me just check the forums, the uh, Garaga translation threads, because uh, I need to find the options for this. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Um, How to Hellsinker, please help. <laughs> I am not very good at Hellsinker, so I'm not the right person to ask here. Right, custom mode settings. Um, I think it's up here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, what's up, Cloudy? How's it going? Where the fuck's the rank shit in here? Uh, is there rank shit in here? What the hell are these options? Off, on, same. Auto weapon activation. So we'll start from the top. Dips. Just, uh, no. <laughs> First, drag yourself to hell. Uh, well, what's this? Oh, speedy. <laughs> uh, Arcades, breezy, fever, 50, 30% rank. Ah, that's rank setting, probably. Base. What does this do? Fuck it, we'll find out. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> See if it actually does the uh, fever mode stuff. I like how it's not bullet vacuuming though under the uh, safety line. <laughs> Mm. 
Right, okay, so that's 400% shot power, we'll put it back. Fever. What's this? Speeder. What is this? I wonder. Mm. That doesn't seem very speedy to me, though. Bullet speed, 55. Oh, okay. Right, so... Which one's bullet density? Is these ones? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, two million. Uh, two thousand only. What's this? Is that weight? I think. So that's enemy bullet density, so arcade density. Okay. Enemy bullet speed, so it's at 55. Okay. Yeah, I'm reading the Garriga thread at the moment, so. But all these options are slightly different. Um, yeah, we'll go with that, actually. <coughs> Wrong button. Mm, still not seeing it. Doesn't seem very speedy to me. Mm, doesn't seem any different though, those options, so I don't even know if that works. Mm. Plus, this is supposed to be very hard as well. I'm not seeing it at the moment. Still not seeing it though. Um, hmm. It's a van. Uh, what does this top option do? Hmm. Super 5, the port's really good. <laughs> port is very good, we're just dicking around with um, trying to get custom set up for 
crazy mode, but uh, at the moment, not sure what half of these options do. Um, hmm. Bullet speed upper limit 55. Now, so this is the upper limit. So, arcade speed, fever mode speed, speedy speed. Uh -huh. So that caps it. So if that caps it, then how the heck do you get it at light speed? Like in the uh, that shot power. What's this one? Uh, this one would be. Uh, uh? Is this rank cap or something? Arcade or 100% rank cap. I'm assuming this is a rank cap by the look of it. Um, possibly, I don't know, maybe. Can't read the kanji. <laughs> Point blank related. Well, maybe. Mm. Uh, fever mode. Uh, every bullet density fever. Close range attack distance. Okay. What are the other options? Mm. Setting C shot. Warning mode. Hmm. It's a lot of options in here. <laughs> uh. You know what? Fuck custom. Until we know what the actual options are, I'm not going to sit here and screw around with it all day. I'd rather just play a game. <coughs> and I hate messing around with options on stream, so... Yeah. <coughs> 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 Cat. View, view, view. You know, as much as I would like to turn off your I kind of like him. <laughs> That's all right. Mew! <laughs> Mew, Mew! I fucking love the cat. Cat's the best. Okay.
I have to get used to um, shock switching in this. I like how you, Otara, completely drowns out the announcer, though. <laughs> it takes every ounce of my concentration not to run into something with you, Otara. Getting a good score with uh, the cat in this is going to be really, really hard. Because one death and you lose the um, special mode immediately. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I know, Owl. I know. But I tend not to do it because I'm used to using them without. How big is this hitbox? Okay. Heaven <laughs> is here inside my Mew. Got it back. Okay. Seems like once you trigger it, it is possible to get it back. Maybe if you know Mr. Boss. It seems very Garaga style or Garaga premium style. You get very jittery playing as the cat though because you're constantly moving so quickly. <laughs> Plus without bombs to defend yourself you have to preempt a lot of the enemies that come on screen. Which is like really tough to do if you're not familiar with the stages. Okay, that one, this one, okay good. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
go, 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 go. Ah. Wow. Shit. Mew, 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 mew. Tara is pretty hard to use. <laughs> Pretend you're playing the Dark Zord. I used to play as the Judge Spear, the actual base version of the Judge Spear, so I'm kind of familiar to very fast ships. Plus I also play as the Judge Spear Slave as well in RF2, so speed isn't a problem, it's just the fact that I have no bombs to defend myself with that is a problem. Shit. Yep. Uh, bastard. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting it back now. It's been a while since I've played as the cat though, so... <laughs> okay. yeah, you always have to preempt as much as possible with uh, the cat. Otherwise you get caught out like that. <laughs> Just... Fuck! Shit! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, the music. <laughs> this game is good though. No! That was a uh, not a fantastic score. <laughs> Half of these widgets aren't that useful to me though. <laughs> I'll probably turn most of them off, like the controller and stuff. Um, actually I'll do that because it's kind of clogging up most of my screen. Uh, widget. Not useful. Not useful. Yes, useful. Definitely not useful. Uh, Stage progress. Uh, selection is going for. Oh, yeah, kind of. Don't need. Well, actually, I keep the dancing guys on. Music information. Uh, extend info, hidden object. Uh, power? Why would I want that? Alert off. Bullet speed. Now I've got holes all over my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
Mm. Oh, this game is so good. Okay. A bit slow here, I think. Yeah, I'm a bit slow here. Should have way more than this. Might still get it though if I'm lucky. Nope, didn't get it. Yeah, so you have to be quite fast here. Yeah, there's no option to rearrange them, unfortunately. It looks kind of disjointed at the moment, but I'm hoping they put the put in a. Uh, Put in a rearranging of the uh, UI option at some point because it would be nice to get a proper stream set up for it instead of having like gaps everywhere. Done. Right, okay. I think it might be safe to use some weapons after all, to be honest, but uh, as long as the um, cyborg count is high enough, you normally trigger it. I do like these remixes though, they're really good. Heaven is here inside my soul. The flashing line is a safety line apparent. Basically, if you're under the safety line, you auto bomb and uh, items are automatically um, vacuumed to you, but you can trigger a secret mode where you lose the safety line in exchange for double score and bullet cancelling. Um, the trigger is to um, get to the bombers at the mid stage of stage 1 without leaving the safety zone, without um, using your sub weapon and without um, bombing and also getting um, a certain amount of um, the disco men before that point. It's pretty consistent and actually really easy com compared to the Garaga ones. So what it does is it removes the safety line in exchange for double, um, double the um, cyborg value per cyborg and uh, bullet cancelling for your bombs. Which is pretty sweet actually. So it makes things a lot more interesting once you've got it triggered because you start to bomb a lot for score. Not this one, it's the next one. Oh yeah, there we go, right. <laughs> Get up to about 3000 before the end of the stage. Might actually do another bomb. Not now, but uh, in a few moments.
Bring it on down. There's also a auto vacuuming mechanic where if you generate a lot of um, items with your charge shot, it seems like you get a lot of um, item vacuuming if there's a lot of um, items on screen. Keep the core items and then Disco Men and then Cyborg. I should stick to one rather than changing the name of them constantly. No bombs anymore. Okay. Fever. Fuck. Okay, right. Up trap. Shit, fucking over. Okay. I want to be very careful here, though, because I don't have any bombs. Hit those kind of patterns, right? <laughs> yeah, I want to try Senko do it when it comes out as well. And yeah, let me know if you can hear the music, all right? Because I've left it at default volume, and it appears to be a little bit low by the um, levels on OBS. Getting the hang of this stage now. Careful that section. Huh. I really want a bomb, but I don't have any. <laughs> well, actually, I do, but uh, I need to conserve it, so I'm treating it as me not actually having any bombs in stock. Fuck! That was an order of fuck shit. Be careful. Oh my god, right.
That wasn't very good. Die! Left, right, to the middle. Yep, daughter. Whoa, okay. <sighs> Get rid of those turrets as quickly as possible. Didn't want to do that. Fuck, I lost the bomb. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh no. That's no, okay, it's okay, it's okay, right. Heaven is here inside my soul. What's up, Radical? Okay. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bastard. To the side. Yeah. So I want the bombs. This mode is amazing. <laughs> There's a lot of bombing and suiciding in it. I feel really underpowered here. Shit. <laughs> because I am. Right. 
Don't get greedy now. Shit. Didn't want to take a hit there. Well, they didn't want to order bomb there. Every time you order bomb, you lose a lot of value. Plus, you lose one really important resource. Oh boy. It's a plasma. Oh, don't lose it. Fuck. I think that's a PB.
Hmm. Oh yeah. <sighs> it doesn't work that way, Al. Because once you die a couple of times, you lose it, and that's all this potential score from it gone. So you're better off just getting it until you um. You're better off just suiciding until um. You lose it and then kill the boss with stock remaining to get points and stuff back. I'm sure the end um, end bonus is a lot higher than that though. That's a PB and also I think that's the new first top score. Shit. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, once in stage. I think twice overall in, sta in the total stage including the boss. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Ready, go. Oh, he beat it. Fuck. <laughs> I think he beat it. God damn, what's that? 31.365. What did I get? 31 point something? Oh, 31.354, yeah. By about 10,000 points. Um, Plasmo to trigger Ura, you need to stay inside the safety zone um, for the whole of the first half of the uh, first stage. Um, you can't use your sub weapon, um, you can't bomb, you can't die, and you need a certain amount of um, disco men gain before the large bombers arrive at the midpoint. So it's sort of like Garriga Premium basically <laughs> except the um, target point is right in the middle of the stage rather than at the end Fever Fever yeah it's about 200 well, it's not 200 plus on the Disco Man counter it's 200 plus on the Disco Man value because remember um, Fever Mode actually gives you two points per disco man rather than one. <coughs> the conditions in Garaga again was something like 2,000 point medals, no miss, no bomb. Um, yeah. It's at least 2,000 point medals, no miss, no bomb I think. Something like that anyway, but medal value was the most important thing in Garaga. I'm not sure, but it's probably the most consistent thing that um, it's the most consistent we have triggered it so far. Akaru, uh, no second, no secondary weapon. <coughs> this game is so good, though. I fucking love it. <laughs> yeah, no miss means don't die. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, some hosts there. Thank you, guys. Too busy playing to notice. <coughs> thank you, Akaru. Thank you, thank you, Dent. If I didn't thank you guys before. Hmm. So we've been going for like three hours now. I reckon the um, fever mode scoreboard will be pretty competitive once uh, people figure out a really good route for this. No, no, no. No miss essentially means no mistake or no death. If it's no enemies missed, then it's 100% destruction. Slightly different terminology. <coughs> Hmm. Ready, go! 
I'm just going to take a quick break first because uh, I've been playing constantly for a while now and I just need to rest and stretch for a bit before I go for another attempt. How we're doing tonight, guys? Yeah, I, um, I'm not sure if people are, are aware, but uh, I was offered the uh, Twitch affiliate program. So I've already signed up. I'm not sure if it's active yet, though, but... Uh, yeah, I've got affiliate now, which means that I should be eligible for stuff like subs when they roll it out to affiliates and things like that. It's kind of funny though, because <laughs> the amount of shit that I play, and uh, the fact that I don't always get a lot of people in my streams because I'm not always playing shmups. Um, Radical, not quite partner. It's um, sort of partner light. So at the moment I can receive bits, but uh, I don't have subs yet, and I don't have like all of the really good stuff that um, partners have. But uh, that should be coming eventually, I guess. Oh, I got a bit. Thank you very much for the bit, Cloudy. <laughs> the one cent. <laughs> yeah, the sub badges will be coming eventually once they give that to affiliates. <laughs> kind of weird seeing bits on my channel. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I was seeing an Al's channel yesterday. I've been streaming pretty much for four and a half years now. I started streaming what 2013-ish, and I've never actually considered, you know, partnering or getting affiliate stuff like that because it's more about the um, growing the community for me than anything else. Oh, did you? Thank you very much, Al. Don't think I saw that, but uh, much appreciated. <coughs> yeah, it's more about growing the community for me, so it's always nice to see the same faces come back, and that's why I do it. It's not about, like, 1,000 viewers or whatever. It's more about the 40 or 50 that like to come back and watch me die repeatedly in stupid games. So, yeah. Thank you very much for hanging out, guys, as usual. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, it's pretty harmless, I think. It's just a little bit of fun. I mean, the amount that you get is, like, microscopic, so it's not really that important, I would think. Hmm. I've not actually tried time attack in fever mode yet. That might be interesting. That's probably why they make you hold C um, to access UO Taro because A and B is time attack. <laughs> I'm gonna get a check every quarter for seven dollars. <laughs> oh, awesome plasma. Let me know if there's anything good there, yeah. Um keep us informed. Hopefully they've got something good coming up. Uh, yeah, Mariana Tech and Cave occasionally hold a, um, a special event to showcase the stuff that they're working on. Yeah, you see, I don't think I'd ever get $100 for a payout, so it's not that important to me. <laughs> you get a cheer badge for a bit. <laughs> yep, I see it now. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not buying a Suka Jan trap. <laughs> I mean, I saw the look of them and I thought, you know, they're not that bad, but it's not something I would buy to wear. It's more of an ornament, I think. You know, a, col a collector's item. I don't know, I mean, it's kind of harmless, I think. No, oh, I see the bit badge now, yeah. Oh, Plasma, yeah. <laughs> the XXL would fit on my leg. <laughs> Topless streams when... Mm. Yeah, give me a second, I'm just gonna grab a drink.
Yeah, like I was saying, Ali, um, it's about the people that come back for me, so it's always nice to see the same people pop up in chat and, you know, hang out. Like, most of the guys we're talking now, I know quite well. It's That's how I like it, really, though. <coughs> it's, uh, it's all about the social activity for me. Mm. This this FM remix is actually quite good. I thought they would have put in two arrangers, but uh, a standard arrange and an FM arrange is actually quite nice. Though yeah, this does sound very Toplanish. It's an out zone. Does give you that vibe actually. <laughs> that would make a good ringtone actually. <laughs> so be bad junk subby mode. <laughs> oh hell yes, I would absolutely do that. That would be funny as fuck. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we'll play a little bit. <sighs> okay. Battle history. <laughs> what is in the battle history? I never really checked. Oh, stats. You can see I use type B the most, and I have tried the cat, but uh. <laughs> Fever mode is obviously the most played mode at the moment. It's in the visual gallery actually. Oh, flyers. Yeah, this is quite nice. You can zoom in. Oh. Uh. Oh, right. Pan up and down. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Mm. It's, uh, it's just the pop. Yeah, I think it is. <coughs> <laughs> Wall texture. <laughs> Just yeah, move strip. Now this would be useful for people who have the PCB, but none of the instructions. <laughs> yeah, Yom Yom hangs out in chat. Uh, every so often, uh, he's in Jap he's in Japan at the moment, so uh, obviously the time difference uh, makes it kind of hard for him to actually get on stream. But back when he was uh, still living in France, he used to hang out and chat quite a lot. So, but yeah, no, it's pretty good to see you in here. I mean, uh, everyone's welcome, of course. Um, I don't think I'll be buying the um, the uh, Darius Burst physical because it's. I don't really want to double dip. For, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't want to double dip, to be honest. But uh, I don't really need to buy it. I'm quite happy with the game. I don't need the DLC. Who is this? Is this the new Feveron waifu by any chance? <laughs> uh, okay. I'll put in run because uh, I don't think Plasmo's seen the uh, activation trigger yet. <sighs> Dang and fever on. Why did I press the wrong button? Let's start. Roll. Three. Not new, but yeah, waifu. <laughs> oh, it's type B, is it? Oh, they have pilots, that's right, okay. Right, so essentially to trigger Ura, you need to stay in the safety zone for as long as possible without leaving it and picking up as many um, disco cyborgs as possible. I don't believe you. I don't think you sh uh, should be using your sub weapon either. I'm not sure if it's a requirement, but it seems to be the most consistent way I've done it. So, and around about now, I should have 200 value. Yeah, there it is. And then the line will fade out. And now we have special trigger activated. So now everything is double value. And um, my bombs now have a special property added. Ooh, 
bomb's special property is that it cancels bullets and causes um, causes an item vacuum. But the bullets cancelled turn into disco men. So it's a great way to actually push the um, score value up. Obviously um, there is some planned suicides required. I'm thinking 36 million is a pretty decent upper limit for this game. <laughs> Are you posting dodgy pictures in my chat? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Don't post dodgy pictures without my authorization. I want to see it first. <laughs> Waifu pictures. Top level. Hmm. I actually think Type C would be pretty good for item collection or generation, but really bad for the bosses. Not yet. Not now. Look at that juicy value. There we go, right. That's a pretty good set of bombs there. Would have preferred to have about 3,000 on current value, but it's a good start for stage 2 at least. It seems like the best way to score is to um, generate a lot of items and then bomb a large amount of Zako in order to get more points and to order collect everything. Oh shit! Fuck. Order bomb there, fuck. I think the sweet spot for scoring value is around about three to four thousand per stage, but it's um, incredibly difficult to do that. Do I have an idea. I have a very good idea. I think livestock is not as important as item count, so I'm going to go for that instead. Suicide strats incoming. I didn't want to bomb there because I was planning on saving it. Good, there we go. Mm, fuck. Might not be good now. Yo, what's up, SSF? Got my bombs back! Look at that! Holy shit! <laughs> 1800 already! Okay, right. Let me try that again. Twenty-eight 
28,000. This would be a good spot for it as well. So let it die. Oh. I think I'm just gonna hold on to the end of the stage now. Okay, good. Ridiculous value already. <laughs> Shit. Oh, oh fuck it. I think a suicide on the boss is in order though. Heaven is here inside my soul. Wanted freaking bomb there. Suicide. Killing myself on purpose here. My core host. Thank you very much, Mac. Or is it the fake Mac? Which one is it? <laughs> we'll have to check in a minute. Save the uh, do it here. Yeah. That was nice. Awesome, right? Left, yeah, to the middle, no, right, fuck, shit, okay. bad left, then right, then both in the center, okay, good, right. Whoa! <sighs> okay. 
Did I just get two one-ups there? What the hell? That was weird. <laughs> Whoa! How are you doing guys? I didn't even notice that there was a fucking shitload of people in. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, awesomely oversized host. Where threat is it? It's not really a good time for that at the moment. Die! Okay. Please have a bomb, thank you. Right. Oh shit. Ah, uh, did not want to order there. Fuck. Again, bastard, man. No, I'm streaming from... I'm using my standard capture card stuff, so... This isn't console, uh, this isn't a direct from console. Unless you're talking about somebody else. <laughs> Shit. 
Bastard. Oh, I've lost it. Okay. That kind of sucks. Oh, Echo, yeah. I think he's doing it from console, but I remember he was also playing uh, um, Lapistoria, which is an arcade version. Arcade rip. Not sure if. Uh, but he's still playing Lapistoria Echo or not, if he's in channel. Whoops. My god. Stuff on that. Left side! Fuck! What's up, Draconic? Yeah, <laughs> big host, Mac. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, Zarok, you would have to bomb from the side since Type B is a laser style bomb. It's a planet. Plasmo! You optimize by looking for the um, best places to bomb in order to generate a lot of um, bullet cancels and Zacco kills. <laughs> Primarily a soul streamer. <laughs> oh my god, planet, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. It does do a lot of damage, believe me, Akaru. It does a shitload of damage. Yeah, it's pretty plain, but it's also very challenging because of the speed of the game. <coughs> Arcade mode is quite accurate, yeah. I played it a tiny bit off stream. <coughs> but it's really good, yeah. The port is fantastic, actually. It's uh, just as good as I thought it would be. <clears throat> Just gonna take five and uh, relax for a bit because <laughs> I've been playing for quite a while now. It's like three hours, forty minutes. Ready, go. Yeah, I'll probably be a bit playing once it's fully rooted out, but I'm not sure if it will be fully rooted out for a while because it's quite challenging to come up with um, a route for this. Yeah, the main problem with that is you need a lot of bomb stock and dying a certain amount of times actually cancels fever mode so you can't milk it endlessly. Excuse me. <laughs> Fucking never. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know Mac was streaming at this time. God, what were you doing in? anyway, Mac? What were you playing? Were you still doing your DOS stuff or not? Or was it something else? <coughs> yeah, as much as I like watching the stream, uh, I kind of wanted to play this. <laughs> so, here we are. So the port is good though. I mean, I'm really very happy with the way the port has turned out. I mean, it took them a while to get it out and I think Garaga was more of a priority but uh, it looks like they've got a good framework in place for future ports so I'm hoping they'll do another one soon preferably something that hasn't been ported yet mm. even something from another company I mean we've had Rising, we've got Cave 
I wouldn't be too adverse to a Psycho if it turns out that the game they pick is pretty good. I mean, even Toplan. I would be quite happy with a decent port for a Toplan game. But we'll see though. Seven hours of dust. <laughs> yeah, Fever is kinda easy plasma because you get a lot of lives and auto bomb and bombs. No, it's been ported before, is it? <sighs> Did you? Awesome. <laughs> How are they anyway? Did you see everyone else over there as well? I don't know Gemmas, I'm not sure if Psycho would sell, but uh, it'd be nice to see other games ported like... Mm -hmm. Dangan Blip Feveron. What's the soundtrack version of this like? Mm. Oh, you met Migu, did you? Yeah, I've heard he's pretty cool, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet they are. I bet they are. Oh, you have to tell. You need to spill the beans, boy. You must spill the beans. <sighs> yeah, I know Migo's really good. Like, his roots are amazing. Yeah, I'm just taking a little break, people, because I've been playing for three and uh, three quarter hours. Not straight, but uh, <laughs> I've been playing since I got back home from work, so I'm just taking a little time out so I can stretch and we'll go for some more runs because I'm feeling this game and uh, I reckon I could probably get 32 million with a little bit of optimization. Because I'm breaking 30 million fairly fairly frequently at the moment. holidays as well. <coughs> ah, sweet. It's got confirmation I'm going to see um, Alien Covenant on release day as well, so it should be pretty good. Fever! You know, when I think about it, I think this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite cave games, like top three, maybe? Oh, hell yeah, there's a lot of options in the menus, uh, Draconic. There are a lot. Yeah, the trailer looks like shit plasma, but to be honest, I want to try and give this film a little bit of uh, positivity because. To be honest, it looks better than Prometheus did. It looks better than Alien Resurrection did. And, uh... I'm hoping that it goes back to its roots, because, uh... When it has too much action in it, it's not really alien after a while. It's like an action film with aliens in it. I'd rather a new film that came out that was actually close to the original. Yeah, it is really different from other cave games, Yaldabaoth. I think it's one of my top three favorite cave games. I mean, this, Guange, and... Ooh, probably the third. Probably Galuda? Yeah, we'll probably say Galuda. So, Feveron, Guange, and ESP Galuda, top three for me. All the others are, you know, okay. I mean, I'm uh, not really too keen on a lot of them, but yeah. Um, Plasma, I don't count Pink Sweets as a cave game because it is pretty obvious it's uh, rising with a cave skin on it. 
Well, Wolverine, you haven't played Odin's Fear before. Because <laughs> I, I really don't like ESP Rade. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's, it's just, it's not a bad game, it's just it doesn't really sit very well with me the way it plays, so... Uh, Guange is probably my first and then Feveron second, probably. <laughs> Jamers, no, I don't think of Pink Sweets as a cave game. It's a rising game with a cave skin on it. It's the same with Ibarra and um, Muchi Pork as well. They are quite clearly rising games, to me at least. <laughs> You're all heretics. <laughs> uh, Binary Spirit, I like Dodonpachi, but I don't rate it as highly as I used to. Um, I do give it a lot of props for being a good game and getting a lot of people into the genre, but to me, it's not a game that I would sit down and learn anymore because it's not really enjoyable to me, that kind of scoring system. It's um, essentially enemy chaining, um, and it's very memory heavy. I mean, you can play it. You can play it without a root, and you know, have fun with it. But it, you're losing a lot of it if you do it that way. So I mean, it's like, well, obviously, pink sweets. So if you play it a certain way, you're also playing it the wrong way. Yeah, exactly, plasma. It's a masterpiece, and it's also not, not the best game to play because Cave have done way better lately. I mean, even Don Patchy is better than Dodon Patchy, I find, and. Some people will agree with me in chat. Some people will probably, you know, <laughs> hunt me down with like pitchforks and torches. But yeah, to be honest, I think Don Patchy is better than Dodon Patchy. I also think Don Patchy is better than Daiojo and Daifukatsu and maybe Sai Daiojo. Although to be fair, I had a shitload of fun with Sai Daiojo. Definitely a lot of fun with Sai Daiojo. Yeah, DP uh, Dodonpachi is um, a quiet taste, I find, but I quite like it. It's good fun. <coughs> I know your top game is uh, DOJ Plasma, because you spent a shitload of time with it back in the day when it was on PS2. So I remember you going for the um, scores on that, and I think you managed to get a full stage 5 chain out, judging by the replay that was posted a long time ago. So that was pretty cool. But uh, I mean, I played a lot of um, DOJ at uh, the Diojo, um, but I was playing it primarily hyperless um, because I found it more fun to learn the routes that way. But at the end of the day, I don't really enjoy the scoring system as much as I used to, so I don't give it as much props anymore. It's still a really good game, very well crafted, but to me, it's not something I would play again. <laughs> DDP would be a masterpiece if Stage 3 didn't exist. Well, exactly. I mean, there is a lot of interesting design decisions in Dodo and Patchy, but it's not something I would personally go back to and play anymore. So I know some people swear by it, but it's not my kind of game. I mean, those of you who know me would know what my kind of game is. Quirky scoring systems and, you know, interesting in-game systems like rank. You know, something that at least, you know, challenges you in certain ways. Yeah, the chaining is pretty anal, I do find, yeah. The thing is though, if Dodonpachi... If Dodonpachi consisted of primarily just stage 5 and 6, it would be a really good game because 5 and 6 are really well-crafted stages. Same with DOJ, if it was just stage 4 and 5, then yeah, maybe I would give it um, a lot more love, but to be honest, I don't really like the pacing in either of them. Hmm. Ah, God damn, that's good tea. <coughs> Presented by K.
DDP stage 5 table flip. Uh, anyway, we've got about 80 people in chat, which is pretty sweet. How you doing, guys? Uh, since we've got a lot of people in, I'm going to go for a little run and then maybe take another break and have a chat with you. So, I'm going to try again. This is Danganfeveron. Just ported to the PS4, released yesterday. Playing the Fever Arrange mode, which is really good. Trying to get my PBs. Yeah, we got hosted. I was like, uh, what, 115 from McCall. Um, so we got quite a lot of people in. So how you doing, everybody? It's not the biggest host I've had, though. Then Dam Dam one day hosted me for 235 people, which was pretty good. So I didn't even notice until I saw the um, the announcement on the on the Twitch widget. I was like, "Ooh, holy fuck! How many people?" So it's always nice to have big hosts from people. It's always appreciated, to, of course. There we go. It's gone. Right. <laughs> 80 people for catch map. <laughs> yeah. And it's always nice to have a pretty sizable host. If people stay as well, it's always welcome. I just do this for fun though. It's not always for, you know, huge hosts or the big follow counts. <laughs> Soldified. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Actually, that would be pretty funny, I think. <laughs> I do miss this PCB, though. If it wasn't for the fact I was uh, strapped for cash that time, I wouldn't have sold it. For those that don't know, I'm in a special mode at the moment where all of the um, little red disco dudes that are appearing at the moment are worth double what they usually are. But the trigger is kind of arcane. Didn't seem like a lot though. Shit. The value wasn't very good. Yeah. Nice if I had a much higher value here though, but it's not too detrimental to score.
fever. Bring it on down. Uh, the other thing about Feveron is that it's um, essentially a score attack or a time attack game in that the faster you kill stuff, um, the more enemies generate, so you need to be really fast. It's caravan scoring. <laughs> Dying with 9 bombs in stock does kind of suck. <laughs> Seem to do a shitload of damage with roll as well, though, which is really good. Oh, oh, fucking hell! That was nearly an auto bomb there. <laughs> Shut up. So let's try and optimize this area here. Uh, oh, fuck, forgot a bomb. <laughs> Whoops. That's better. Right. Shit! Fucking hell. Got no bombs left, so I have to be really careful. <laughs> okay, I got a bomb. Cool. Gained a bomb! Preempt those as much as possible. Oh, fuck. Shit. Okay, good. Right, got rid of it. It's a pretty dangerous section there if you're not prepared for it. Don't want to use this bomb though. So I'm planning on suiciding on the boss. Once I got it down to a certain amount. In 10 million already. <laughs> oh, two bombs, good. Two bombs! Fuck. Bomb lost. Okay, right. I got them both. Cool. That's fine. Planning on that anyway. Swing your body. <laughs> Plasma trash talking again. <laughs> That sucked. Fuck. Okay, 
Gain the ball. Down the middle. Good, right. Yeah. Fuck. Got the bombs there. Ooh, joystick lock up. Come on. <laughs> oh, I won, I won, thank you. Whoa! Fuck. Use that straight away. <laughs> Shit. I'm sure there's an easy way to do that. Heaven is here beside my soul. This is par for the course, Chocha. <laughs> I always make weird noises when I'm playing schmucks. Whoop! Fuck. Suicide. Take out the line back. Nope. Okay, good. Watch out! <laughs> well, the clip sounds like alcohol. <laughs> this is where shit becomes very scary. Right, okay. That was a pretty shit cancel. Ugh. Okay. Scary. Uh, it sucks. Okay, these orbs are probably the most dangerous enemy in this stage. So they have a lot of health. Ah, oh, shit. Now I have to be careful because I've already died once. Shit. 
I'm using a lot of uh, score value here. Not one order bomb there, shit. This is already a PB by quite a big margin. <laughs> yeah, PS4 is a region free kite star. Lost it. Yep. Okay, good. That's me done for this one. P fucking B. Holy shit. That is a PV by 5 million. <laughs> 5 fucking million. That's world record radical, I believe. Well, it's currently the highest score then.
actually pretty pretty amazing run. <laughs> what is the has it been beaten yet? Oh my fuck <laughs> Oh he's he's putting in work by the look of it. <laughs> good god, that's a good score. Yeah, that's not world record that would have been. <laughs> Shit. Okay. That's pretty big. Mm. Yeah, second is alright for me, I think. <coughs> I'm happy with that. That was a pretty good run, though. Uh, so. So I'm going Forty million is a pretty big ask, though. Thinking maybe boss milking, since you can get away with an extra death on bosses. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, I'm thinking it is probably boss milking, since you get a quite a lot of lives remaining. Uh, yeah, Mikoto was in Garaga's high score table as well. I'm not sure where he was. I haven't played Greg for a while, actually. <laughs> yeah, 41 probably isn't that big. I'd reckon about 45 to 50 then is probably the highest possible. It's a big ass though without more frequent suiciding on bosses. Yeah, it could be because I order bomb a lot, so losing a lot of point value there. Dude, it's only day one, you know. I'm not going to be that good just yet. You mean stage three, the large carriers? Yeah, I mean, um, I forgot to do it in this run, and plus I only had two bombs. Yeah, we'll get the route down though. I think we're st starting to come together, I think. So, if I don't die on the last boss, I could possibly get away with the double suicide on the true last boss as well. Because you're allowed at least one death before... Well, actually, you know, you're allowed two deaths on the boss before it resets. I've had quite a few followers as well, thank you very much. <coughs> mm. 
<laughs> that was actually a pretty good run. I didn't think I'd knock one like that out so quickly. But uh, I think we still have quite a lot of improvement to go. So this is good. I'm learning a lot from this one at the moment. I mean, it's been a while since I've played shmups. Um, over the past few months, because I've been playing other stuff, so kind of feeling a bit rusty as well. Right, Jamus. I'm really bad at arcade though. <laughs> arcade is a different beast for me, I think. To me it's rusty because I don't practice as much as I like to on shmups now, so... Plus, if I'm not rusty then my hands aren't shaking like crazy after a run. <laughs> yeah, second, I think 36.2 million or something like that, so... Good score that actually, I was really pleased with that run. Uh, it's still quite a bit to go though, I think. Not even sure what I ended the uh, run with in terms of resources. Give me a minute just to get some energy back because wow, it's gonna fade a little here. Because <coughs> oh, I need something a little bit more filling to eat. No, I'm eating biscuits, and also I have an inhaler because I have hay fever. <laughs> Vaping Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, dude? Voice clips. You've got to believe it. No, I found them. Bring it on down. You've got to believe it. Bring it on down. 
Come on, dancing. Can you feel it? Fever, fever, fire. Can't stop this feeling. Free love, gotcha. Heaven is here inside my soul. Hey, hurry up. Don't lose it, because I'm near. No! Oh, oh my! Oh yeah! Okay! Ready? Ready? S! Gong gong! Fever! Final round! Watch out! Do what you want! Yeah! You can make a soundboard out of this. Funky music! <laughs> Go! Hear the music! Pretty cool! S! Pretty cool! Pretty cool! Pretty 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 cool! Swing your body! Don gun! Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> like having fun with that. <sighs> so looking at the stage result, 16 million from stage 5 is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Remix! Uh, yeah, I do have hay fever so I need an inhaler. Mm. Uh, sinuses are always blocked up in the uh, in spring. <laughs> Remix boy! Fifty quid. Fifty bucks for a costume, that's ridiculous. What a cap on planner. Yeah, I know it's already got a soundboard. Make the soundboard a little bit more full. Fever! Gotcha. Hmm. Time to get on everybody's nerves. Oh cool, the actual stage result gives you the PB by ship. <laughs> you have to get point blank here, jeez. Heaven is here inside my view. Oh, Fuck! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, shit! What's up, Kempop? Yeah, I'm playing a range mode right now. <laughs> Most views of Dangan since Stunfest. <laughs> Are you having thoughts of coming back to Dangan at any point, um, Aquas? So I know you were a big exponent of this a while back.
Mew, Mew, Mew. Sounds more like woo, woo, woo instead of meow. <laughs> Cat percent, best percent. Whoop. Oh, what? Right, okay. Now, the main problem with the Uotaro is you can't bomb to increase the value of the Disco Men, so you're kind of stuck for scoring. I don't think score potential is as high with the Uotaro, but the, um, the fun factor is obviously up there. <laughs> This is more of your traditional Fevron with slightly higher scoring cap though. Fix it with hammers and nails. What's up, System Eleven? <laughs> oh, woo! Okay. Remember to use the slowdown for this. Okay. It's a cat. Spend we. <laughs> and it's a secret character, so it doesn't match the rest of the game, but it's uh, kind of fun to play because it's the fastest um, selection in the game and also the most powerful. Um, but you sacrifice bombs since you don't actually have bomb stock as the cat. Oh shit! Ah uh, yeah. As soon as you die early, you lose it. Oh, you can get it back? Holy shit! That's interesting. It must be attributed to um, item count. Because I lost it there temporarily and now I've got it back. That's so weird. So you can actually get it back mid-stage, which is really interesting. Yeah, it's a cat that fires. It's a cat that fires squids. Shit, That's fucking dumb. Right. You treat it like a three-speed ship here, which is probably what I should be doing more often, to be honest.
fuck. <laughs> Fever. Shit. Ooh. Magic speed up. <laughs> See if I can get her back in the stage. Not likely if I'm not careful. <coughs> I think it's a midpoint where it's the uh, key section. Yeah, I'd be uh, surprised if I actually get it back now. It doesn't look like I will. Just gonna play it safe. Then. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck you! <yo. laughs> oh shit! Okay. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with this stage with the cat, so. Ah, uh, yeah, gonna die here. So fans one. <laughs> this was three thousand five hundred yen. <clears throat> no. no. So bad with the cat. <laughs> I don't play that way though, Ken Pop. This is full on caravan scoring. Ready, go! Wait a second.
<laughs> Hello Ando, how are you doing? <coughs> mm, thank you for the host as always. Oh, a few followers. <sighs> Dang gun, fever on. Mm. Okay. Up. Ready. <laughs> Pick bomb by accident. <laughs> Eleven can say, "Oh, you've got—is it Golden Week, something like that, or is it just you've taken a lot of holidays?" Yeah, I've got a three-day holiday here. It's a English bank holiday. That's why I'm on fairly early today, and I'll probably be playing for a couple more hours. I think it's probably better to go for the early attempt. I don't know, maybe. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty shit cancel. Fuck. Okay. I thought I'd sacrifice a bomb there just to try and get some value up because I'm fairly low at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Golden Week, I thought it was. 11 days is a lot of holiday though. <laughs> Disco people at the bottom. <laughs> They're just there, kite star. No real reason for them to be there. They're just there. Standard take. Bomb, please. There it is. Oh, that pattern's random. Yeah. Come the wrong way. <laughs> the 
41,000 cyborgs inside the ship. Yeah, that was a pretty shit cancel. God, this is a pretty dangerous <laughs> situation to be in. Right. It's these small things from the sides that are pretty dangerous. Bomb! <sighs> Never mind. Scary pattern, shit. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on. It's okay. Just yet, That's fine, that's fine. Oh shit, no, it's not fine. <laughs> Run over. Whatever, I'll just go for the clear. Oh, 
What I started this stage with like 24. My best in the actual stage itself is 16. So 40. Hmm, okay. Shit, what about? I'm getting a lot of bombs now though. <laughs> yes, I am Asian. British born as well. Fuck. <laughs> ah, shit. What the hell happened there? <laughs> Nowhere near. <laughs> Not a chance. This run was dead by the halfway point of stage 5 because I lost um, fever mode. Whoa, boy. Still a decent score though. Not PB either. My personal best is a f 36 million. <laughs> the thing was, stage 3 and 4 were bests. So if I had actually got the stage 5 that I had in my high score, this would have been 38 million. <laughs> So uh, it's a perfect run time now, I think.
presented by K. Tanga Fever Room. Ready, go! <laughs> Uh, yeah, first place has a replay, it's like 41 million, I've already downloaded it. Um, NTSC JDBS I think was a test player. Uh, Neo, I am playing the arranged mode, I'm playing fever mode. <coughs> uh, Draconic Impulse to get into Ura. Stay in the um, safety zone for the whole of the first half of the first stage. Um, use just your shot. Don't die. Don't use your sub weapon. Pick up as least 150 to 200 Desco men along the way. So basically, stay at the bottom, shoot everything, don't die. Yeah, I think they got a lot of the um, high level uh, players to um, play test this, which was really good actually. I mean, at least you know that M2 put a lot of care into these ports. I and mean, they got Kamui to play test Garaga. Yum! There he is! Yum 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 yum. <laughs> yum. How's it going, yum? Hmm. Just gonna take a few minutes break to stretch because fucking I've been playing for nearly five hours. <laughs> oh my god. Day one, super long stream. Hmm. Yeah, I heard you're going to Cave Matsuri. I think um, Plasmo's going as well. So you should see him there. Oh, our great one was a test player as well, was he? Yeah, they got all the high level players testing this, which means that they got really good feedback from it. You can tell as well, the game players like it should do on PCB. It's smooth and buttery. There's no random quirks. As I said, as I said at the beginning of the stream, this is how Cave should port stuff. Doing it properly, listening to users, getting proper feedback and testing. But they don't because they're retarded and they couldn't port anything to save their fucking lives. <laughs> Loads of butter. <laughs> yum yum yum. How's it going, dude? <coughs> Presented by K. Tanga Fever Room. Ready, go. Ready, go. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone's trying to get you to buy the jackets, is that right? The Sukijan. 50,000 yen of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm not after anything, so don't worry about me, dude. <laughs> buy an arcade cabinet. <laughs> yeah, he's getting the Sukijan. I think a lot of people have asked them to get the jackets. <coughs> Presented by K. 
I need to make a drink. <coughs> so give me a second, yeah, guys. <coughs> Presented by Kane. Presented by Kane. Presented by Kane. Tanga Bibaro. I think I'm starting to lose my voice a little because I've been talking so much on stream. Anyway, how are we doing guys? Just taking a quick five minute time out, have a drink, recover some energy. I'll play a little bit more Fevron and then probably play Garaga Premium to finish the night off. <coughs> because I have to be up early tomorrow. I'm uh, meeting some friends of mine, we're going to a rum festival. Um, there's a a little market going on where they've got like a hundred different types of rum, different flavors and stuff. So we're going to go check it out and get pretty drunk tomorrow. <laughs> um. Dude, you should have asked for Great Maho. <laughs> I like this game. This is really good. The port is 
phenomenally good. Uh, looking forward to a good rum fest. I'm not German, Marion. <laughs> we do kind of celebrate Oktoberfest, but it's only because Germans do. So we go and get fucking absolutely hammered. <laughs> mm. It'll be pretty good tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow evening I'll probably stream again. Um, but tomorrow afternoon is going to be taken up with just hanging out with my friends for a while and yeah. getting a little drunk. Maybe go for some date. <coughs> Ready, go! An obscure shmup like Trap Lakes, like, uh, I don't know, Thunder Dragon 2 maybe? Or a uh, HD version of um, Hatcher Mecha Fighter? <laughs> yeah, it's probably best that you don't drink because it's a filthy habit. <laughs> Terrible habit. <laughs> Drinking rules to be quite honest. Yeah, well, I mean, I used to do a lot of it. I don't do it as much now because I prefer to keep my health in check. <laughs> Guardian Force shot triggers. What's up, Gunner? How you doing, dude? So you've been sitting. Noticed you've been sitting there for a while lurking, but you know it's good. Lurkers are always good as well. I see a lot of lurkers in chat. Always seems to be the usual people that talk though in my chat, which is fine, I enjoy it. It's good banter. Yeah, I don't have anything in the fridge besides a couple of cans of cider, but I'm not really in the mood to drink cider right now. <sighs> Beer. <laughs> Big up the lurkers. <laughs> that rather humongous McCaw host the, um, a while ago. There's a lot of people in here which is pretty cool. <coughs> Yeah, I mean, I prefer cider nowadays because it's a lot lighter to drink compared to, say, lager. I think lager makes you really freaking gassy and irritable, but cider I could just drink a shitload of and not feel too bad the next day. It's nice that way. Just you get nice flavors of cider. <sighs> Quite partial to strawberry and lime flavor. Mm. Alright, um, have fun of the matter, dude. Yeah, fruit cider is the best. Yeah, so I'm quite partial to uh, strawberry and lime. <laughs> Akihabara live cam. <gasps> Post the link. Mixed berry is quite nice actually, yeah. I like mixed berry. <clears throat> ah, there you are, rat. <laughs> Sweet, thank you very much. Oh, copper burger is so good. Ready, go. Could go for a couple of bottles of that right now, but I don't think the um, local supermarket is open at this time because it's like half past 12. <laughs> I mean, uh, it might be 24 hours, I don't know, but I can't be asked to get off my butt and go down there and buy some. Dangan Feveron. <sighs> yeah, I'll see you. Just spot the lanky German guy with a hat. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink as much as I used to nowadays. I don't drink to excess now anyway, I just drink to be merry. Actually, I've got an idea. 
Is this score attack mode? I don't know. Yes, it is. Cool. Right. Oh shit! Okay. Let's see if it triggers in score attack mode as well. I very much doubt it, but uh, I'll be amazed if it does. So uh, you need to get it really quickly, I think. It doesn't look like it does, it's pretty hard to get here. Oh, pretty dangerous pan. <laughs> it's not very often I avoid that though. Yeah, I'm not triggering it here, so we'll go back to the main tail screen. <coughs> if I'm going to play a score attack, I'd rather play the arcade version. <coughs> it's a fever score attack. Probably not that easy to get. Yeah, see you later, Yom. Thanks for watching, dude. Let me know how it goes, though, yeah. I'm going to be very curious to see what you see there. Proper disco remix, yeah. Pretty consistent that it's not like it's a particularly difficult trigger to activate, but uh, it's pretty easy to get it consistent now. It's just getting the rest of the run consistent now. Bring it on down. I was trying to trigger the um, extra extra power up carriers. Yeah, I mean, I occasionally have a drink. It's when I go out with like my work colleagues, colleagues or my friends. But again, I don't drink to excess anymore. It's, I'm well past that type of uh, behavior now. I used to do it a lot when I was younger, but nowadays it's just have a bit of fun, socialize. Don't need to get completely off your tits. Slow here, though. Yeah, this section type C is really good because it can handle all of the stuff on the sides. Kill that before it shoots. Mm, 
I might need to revisit this section though, because I'm thinking I'm not doing it right. Plus, I didn't get the bonus enemies. Stop this fever! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Die. What's up, Memphis? <laughs> oh, this music is so good. Funk sound, Bum, 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 bum. Come here, right, thank you. Right. Oof. Okay, we've got 4,000 value here. <laughs> Try not to fuck this up. Cause, uh, this is a good stage. <sighs> Fucked it up. So I'm out of time now. Shit. Fuck. Didn't want to use the bomb there. Shit. Scary, 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 scary. Heaven is here. Gotcha.
Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Sort of okay, I think. Oh my god, how did I get through all of that? I think it's better to bomb these guys instead of that pattern before. Value is not as high. Kinda need a bomb. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. Shit. Just last at the end of the stage, please. It's better. Whoa! Oh, that sucked. been a good way to do this on. Uh, 
Oh, that's a terrible bomb. Oh shit. Didn't want a bomb there though. <laughs> Do not attempt that kind of a dodge. Massive reaction dodge there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I lost it. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, okay. Fuck. Right, Mariano, thanks for watching, dude. I'll see you later. <coughs> Nuked. Thirty million again. Ow! 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 Cramp. Let me catch up with chat here. <laughs> uh.
I think I remember you drinking a lot of beer playing Ketsui a while ago, Aquas. I thought that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> I know Trap occasionally has a beer when he's streaming, like, I've seen him, unless that's like non alcoholic beer. <laughs> I'll probably be doing Bloodborne later in the weekend. Um, just wanted to get acquainted with Feveron. I mean, there's always plenty of time for Bloodborne. I need to finish the DLC anyway. <coughs> yeah, I, don't know, I see you occasionally have a beer like so. That's good though. <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. I mean, occasionally I have a little drink as well when I'm streaming. But it's been a while since I've actually had a drink while I've streamed. I think it was Christmas. Last time I did that when I was doing that um, Christmas Eve uh, Mahjong stream. I'm drinking cider then and just chilling out for a bit. That was pretty good fun actually. I think I played better when I was a little bit tipsy. As is the way with Mahjong usually. <laughs> I don't know, you know. <laughs> 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 that we are, Zach, that we are. <laughs> Presented by Cave. Presented by Cable. Uh, the problem is, Tain's lost in Hyrule Woods at the moment. I don't think we'll be getting him out there anytime soon. Um, I'm not sure, Zach. I might try it now, actually, just to see if that's the case. But uh, I can consistently trigger it just using shot. So, <coughs> I mean, it might be no secondary weapon. You know what, fuck it. Let's do a very quick lab test. Ready, go. Oh shit. Let me redo that because I popped over the line. <laughs> Ripped in. <laughs> I do love this remix of Stage 1 though. It's uh, pretty hype actually. It's got a more disco y feel than the original music did. It's around about now. Yep. Oh well, you can actually use secondary weapons, so it's fine. It must just be staying below the um, safety line and. Uh, getting a certain amount of disco men to trigger. That's, uh, that's good to know, at least you can actually speed up stage 1 a little bit by using your secondary weapon. Hmm. 
not quite sure what allows you to keep the um, fever mode though. Right, bomb time. So I've just used the bomb there. And use sub weapon there. Nope, it's gone. Yep, so bombs don't count either, so it's probably just staying under the line. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true, Sean. I guess that is true. It's better to have a slightly less complicated trigger for Danganfeveron than it is for Battle Gyroka. a little bit better I guess. We'll do one more though. Not here. But uh the next section I think. Bonus enemies shit fuck. Oh boy. I have to 
remember that in order to score pretty high, you need to clear the uh, power carriers off screen as quickly as possible. Yeah, Zach, that's exactly the case. It's I think the bosses are the best place to suicide. Um, it seems like that to me anyway. I've consistently got really good stage scores by suiciding on bosses. That's fine. Yeah, the HUD blinks on Arcade as well, Zarok. It blinks throughout all the modes actually. And it does it in time to the music, which is kind of cool, I think. No order bomb, please. Okay, good. That's a little bit lower than what I was expecting, but bomb timing for that is a little bit off. Better actually, maybe, <laughs> possibly. Good. Yeah. Oh, get the bomb. Thank you. Gain the bomb. Generating turrets, okay. hit that random pattern. It's aimed and then it spreads everywhere and it's annoying as shit because you can't predict it. <laughs> Flip the sidebars with dancing robots. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna hang on to the bombs because there seems to be a much better spot to do this. 
it's not this bit because of these guys. Hold on to it. No, it's not this bit. Be this bit coming up. A little bit better, but not brilliant yet because there's still a much better spot to do this. Coming up. Mm, I wouldn't have called. No, that wasn't too good, I think. And I really need to double check this because. I had a really good run where I had a spot on stage 4 and uh, got a really good start, but it seems like I've not got the timing right for this stage yet. Nail that um, bomber really early. Speaking of bombs, Shit! Oh, Not very good at dealing with that section. Whoa, 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 okay. Fuck! Okay, get rid of that. That's alright. Lost it. Fuck. I'll just keep it going for sake of practice, but uh, yeah, this run is dead. <laughs> that beginning section is really evil though.
Yeah, I know I could use a bomb for safety, but <laughs> you know me, I tend not to do stuff like that that often. <laughs> so I'd say I'm still not completely clued up on my route yet, so dying isn't too much too detrimental in Lake and Garaga where I actually know what my route is. Trying to save that bomb. <laughs> you know, sir, I wouldn't be surprised at all if that was the case. <laughs> Take a five minute break. <sighs> However, oh, Senko will be amazing. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to that. Senko will be really, really good. <clears throat>
presented by K. Time got fever room. Yeah, that Momo era underground looks pretty good. I think it's too visually busy for my liking though, but it looks like a pretty good game. It's pretty complicated though, with all the uh, different attacks and stuff that you can do. <laughs> I haven't even seen Max rank yet. <laughs> when I was watching you play the other day, it looked pretty busy just from whatever the rank was, like three, four hundred or something like that. Maximum rank must be kind of bonkers, I would assume. What's up, goat man? Oh my god, I am fucking wiped out. Six hours. Ugh. Presented by K. Time got fever room. I don't know, I haven't checked the scoreboards. Yeah, let's have a quick look. Rank, oop, wrong button. No, that's super easy. Hang on. <laughs> Fever! It's on 41.7. <coughs> uh, ah, <laughs> ah, uh, shit sucks. <coughs> I have to admit I miss this game a lot, you know. Fucking one of my favorite PCBs and uh, I enjoyed playing this a lot when I had my cap. It's, uh, as I was saying earlier though, it's like my one of my top three cave games. The, the other two being Guwange and uh, ESP Galuda. What's up, Cathode? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me, like, this game seems like it could be fairly breakable. Oop, another follower. <laughs> Lasagna smoothie. <laughs> That's quite the name. I'm quite certain I've um, seen the name Lakoto A before, though. Oh, no, Iron Harrier just means that they're coming back up.
damn. Right. <sighs> okay. <coughs> Let's try arcade. Wrong button. Let's see if I've actually learned anything. Probably no. <laughs> Also, I forgot that uh, you just move pretty fast even when you're charging. <laughs> Especially if you're doing what I'm doing and holding A and C together. So I think the rank cap is slightly higher in arcade than it is in Fever. Barely 300. Yeah, plus the attack power is quite low on your charge shot, so compared to in Fever where it's slightly higher. I don't know how to play characters that don't go meow. <laughs> oh no, you don't, right? Shit. that thing as quickly as possible huh? shit oh I missed one I didn't even see it never mind score run invalidated is that another one going off yep <coughs> whatever
Ah, <laughs> uh, cathode. <laughs> All those uh, emotes. <laughs> I see a milky in there. Oh, stick lock up. Clearly not. This bit is way harder. <laughs> you get used to the fact that you've got enemies with slightly higher health than you have in a fever mode, in a fever range. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that green spread is nasty. Getting a little bit sore. Ah, I was hoping. Oh, yeah, I got 600. You can see that boss parts and bosses themselves have way less health and fever. It was, I guess, kind of nice. It would have been nice if they actually increased the rank when you get into fever mode, though, so it would have been a little bit more risky. That's the only gripe I have with this mode, though. Otherwise, it's pretty good fun for score attack. So fucking tired though. Well, it's six hours and ten minutes. <laughs> and I've got a lot of endurance, but uh, sometimes I do need to take a little bit of a break. Fuck oh, shit! Order bomb straight away. Mm-hmm. 
Bang. My entire bomb stock, but that's fine. No pun intended. Spread those bullets like that. This could be good though. What's up, Cream? Yes, I'm still at it for a little bit longer. Yeah, score attack mode is unlocked off the bat. Well, not off the bat, it's uh, you do have to still trigger it using a secret method, but uh. PB stage two? No. Dare try that. Mm 
Bomb would have been really good here actually instead of Roll. Take it on down. Right. Fuck. Nearly got hit by that. Break a bomb. That is much better. Had a bomb here would have been quite good as well, but uh, for now this will do fine. Uh, quite early into the 3000 uh, value, so. Not that bad to start. Hopefully we can hang on to it. Bomb Ooh, danger. Oh yeah, okay, right. <sighs> yeah, good night Wolverine. Thanks for watching dude. Oh fuck. Don't we chat. <laughs> While well, I'm in the middle of a fairly passable run.
Could have bombed a little there, but uh, yeah, it's fine. Scary! Fuck, I need that bomb. Okay. Oh my god! as quickly as possible. Right. I'm getting another bomb from somewhere. Shit, I'm gonna need it now then. Bam! Oh, shit. Well, 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 fuck. Yeah, I'm still going. I'm probably going to finish in a second. Uh, getting kind of tired now. Get over that side. Some 
side. Yep. Sandwich there. <laughs> Was that a no, that can't be. Ah, PB. <laughs> okay. Damn. <sighs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Fuck it up. It's like six and a half hours worth of play. Not bad, actually. I mean, I could probably do better in the last stage, but uh. Just getting my values up a little bit. Fourteen point three for stage five, though. <laughs> no. Wow, it's loud out there tonight. Okay, is anyone going to stream now? Because I am going to call it a night now. Because um, I have been going for quite some time. It's been fun, of course. Gee, what? Oh, Owl's playing Feveron. So I'm going to host Owl. Um, yeah, I'm going to call this a night. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm going to host um, Owl Anonymous because he is playing Dangan Feveron as well. So we're not stopping this fever. Yep, but uh, have fun, and uh, have a good night guys, I will catch you later, um, yeah, this has been fun, probably play this more, definitely, <laughs> see you guys later.